Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can work with the drop downs in Selenium Python. So whenever you visit any particular website, drop downs are the very common feature of the website to select certain values from the list of drop uh, list of uh, values that are presented in the drop down. Now, drop downs in general on the websites basically are implemented in different ways. So in some instances, if you inspect the code, the HTML code behind the drop down, you will find that the implementation is a bit different and some others, for example, auto suggest drop downs and all. So we'll cover all of that and we'll see which type of drop downs can be handled in what particular ways. Okay. So first we'll start with the very basic drop down. So I will go to Salesforce website and on the Salesforce website, if you click on try for free, it will open the trial page here. Now here you will see that I have a couple of drop downs. So job title employs the country, right? So if I click on the job title, you will see that I have these values that are appearing in the drop down. Okay. And the same thing with the employees and the country, right? If you right click and inspect this source, you will see, let me expand it a little bit. So here, if you notice that this tag here for this particular drop down starts with select. Okay. And below select, if you expand this, you have these options, which are basic the options, basically the options that are available in this drop down. Right. So this is one of the implementation of the drop down, basically having the select tag and then the options available in the drop down using the option tag. Okay. If I go to the country, all the implementation is through the select tag and the values within that drop down are the options. Okay. Now, many times you will go to other websites. Say, for example, we have been working with yatra.com here. If you go to holidays here, right now here you will feel that this is also a drop down and it is a drop down basically if you click on this arrow here and you will see that I can select the values, right? But is the implementation of this drop down in the background, the HTML imp implementation, is it the same as we have seen it here? Let's try to inspect and see. So right click and click on inspect and here you will see that it is not a select tag here, right? So it is not the select tag it is a different tag which is a div tag right and if i expand this expand this basically so you will see that below the div there is a span and in the span there is a value that is there okay so implementations let me refresh this page close it so right click and inspect and here you will see that it is not of the select type right so it is a span and below span you get the value that whatever value is there if i expand this then you will see that another child appears and if you expand this you will see that this is basically unordered list and within the unordered list you will get these values right so this implementation is absolutely different from what we have seen previously now this is the implementation that will be working in this particular tutorial and selenium provides a class that we can easily use to select any of the values which have this select or the implementation is used Using with the select and the options are available below the select drop down okay and then these type of drop downs we'll cover in the upcoming tutorial okay so before we go let's go to the documentation right so this is the pypy.org and we are on the selenium page here and to get to the api documentation simply click on selenium package api and we'll go to the documentation here and what we are interested in order to select a drop down is the select class. So you, if you go to this webdriver support dot select, this is the class that is provided in Selenium Python, which will help you to work with the drop downs which are implemented using the select tag. As you can see here clearly, a check is made that a given element indeed is a select tag. If it is not a select tag, which is basically in this case, this is not going to work. Okay, so you have to, whenever you are testing an application, you go and analyze the code that is there behind that application that will give you a good understanding which class or which method basically to use in order to interact with those web elements okay so because we'll be working with this particular drop down so we'll be using the select class and if it is not a select tag then it will 
throw an exception unexpected tag name exception okay now there are many methods that are available here and the first thing we'll start with is the single select drop down so there are drop downs so this drop down if you see here it is a single select right so i can either select one particular value or i can select any other value so i cannot select multiple values but there are many drop downs which are implemented in the same way which have the select tags but you can select multiple values with the drop down so that will be the next tutorial so now here if we go ahead and see that there are many methods right so we can select basically if you see we can select by index we can select by value and we se we can select by visible te text so select by visible text so these three methods are the important method to select any value from these drop downs so i can select either by index by name okay by name uh, sorry by index by value or by visible text all right so let's quickly go back to pycharm and i'll quickly copy this existing code for the checkboxes just to expedite a little bit process create a new file and i will say demo drop down and i'll say single select because we are working with single select drop down in this tutorial so we'll just say single select and here let me remove everything and we'll be working with the portal which is this particular page the registration page or the trial page and i will provide the value here so this will this page will open okay and here change the class name is demo drop down and the method name to demo drop down all right now let me remove these as well okay so now first two lines are pretty common we have been working with okay and this will be launching this particular page on the chrome browser now before we start using the select class we need to import it right so we before we can use the methods that are there in the class we need to import the class first so as we are doing in the selenium case we need to do same for the select class so we'll simply go to the documentation so here if you see this is the class that we need to import right so selenium web driver support dot select and then this is the class that we need to import so we'll go to the pycharm and we'll simply say paste it here so from selenium web driver dot support dot select we need to import this select class and you just notice that this s is capital right now the next step is to basically go to the portal and get the locator for the select drop down and we can use the select class to start working with that okay so first we'll go to the portal and here say for example i want to select the values in the drop down job title so right click inspect let's find out the locator quickly and we'll open selector sub and here if you see that looks like relative x path is dynamic because you can see that this value might change again and again right so if i refresh let's see what value it is now yeah it changes right so this you can't use and if you want to learn how you can basically write the xpath for the dynamic values you can definitely go to the xpath tutorial that i have posted on the training portal or say academy training portal and sanjay kumar has, has posted about selectors hub and xpath series so those tutorials and courses will help you a lot to master how to write complex xpath and css queries for dynamic elements so as of now i won't extend this tutorial too much so i will simply there is a unique element name which is a unique attribute name and i'll copy this user title right so this name i'll use so i'll simply copy the name and we'll go to pycharm and we'll just say just give any name so i'll say demo or i'll say drop down right so and then we'll identify so basically we'll drop down driver dot find element by name and provide the name there okay so now this particular web element okay so this particular web element is so let me use double quotes here because if you're using xpath then there might be single quotes within the xpath so it's better to use double quotes at all the places okay so now this variable holds the web element that will be identified by the name okay now the next step is to use the select class so what you need to do is we can give any variable here again so we can say just drop down okay and we need to say we need to call uh, the select class so we'll, we simply need to use the select class right so it is coming from support.select 
and in this select class we need to pass the argument right so we need to pass the argument which is basically the web element on which you want to work right so if you go through the documentation as we have gone through initially so what it checks is so if you see here that it checks that it is indeed a select tag right so this particular web element whichever web element you will be passing here it will check whether that is a select tag and then it will go ahead and work when you are using these methods otherwise if it is not then it will give you unexpected tag name exception okay now because this particular in this example we are working with the select tag drop down so it should go ahead and work perfectly fine now on this particular variable if you see dd dot you will see all the methods that we can use right so we can select the option by visible text or by value or by index okay so let me have the index okay and then we'll set dd select by value so we'll say visible text right and then so select by value all right so now here if we say select by index as we know in the programming language whenever we are working with arrays and stuff it starts with zero so if you want to select the first value in the drop down you need to specify the index there okay so you can specify the index as zero and it will select the first value but if you notice this particular portal here right so if i right click and inspect you will see that the option at zeroth index is disabled right so you can see that it is showing the job title so we have to start with one which will select sales manager and marketing pr manager okay so sales manager is at one the marketing pr manager ends at two so and so forth and so on okay so we'll say one in this particular case when we are selecting the value by index and then by visible text and by value okay so let's see what value so in the first case it will select sales manager okay and then the second one says the value or the visible text so visible text is the text that we see here right so this text that we see here is the visible text say for example second one we want to select marketing uh, slash pr manager so in the visible text we'll pass this visible text and it will select this marketing pr manager and then the third one is the value okay so go back to the locators here and you will see the option tag has the value attribute and the value is there as well so let's select the third one by the value okay so we'll select the value of this attribute and use the value so here we'll pass on the value okay now before each selection let me put some sleep there so we'll say time dot sleep and we'll put three seconds sleep after each of the selection so that we can see this in action okay selection is happening properly all right so now we are done with our method now we'll simply create an object of the class so we'll say dd demo we'll define a variable and then we'll create an object of this class and this variable will hold the reference to that object dd demo right and now i can call this method so we'll say dd demo dot demo drop down okay and let me run this now and see everything in action so it should launch chrome browser and it will open the salesforce page and in the job title should first select sales manager you can see it has selected then it will select marketing pr and then finally cxo general manager right so that's how you will be working with the select class in selenium with python and using the method select by index select by visible text and select by value in selenium python so it is very simple the key thing to remember is to import this particular class then then identify the drop down by the locator and then pass that locator into the select class right so it it accepts the attribute there and then use the methods either by index or by visible text and by value so that's all about the select class in selenium python and how you can work with the drop downs using the select class in selenium python so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching